Hello everyone. Well, despite having a severe case of man flu, I've managed to drag myself out of my sick bed or possibly my deathbed to demonstrate this new Vax carpet washer for you. I wasn't expecting to do this video today, so uh, it's a bit sort of rushed, but I've uh, suddenly found myself with the opportunity of an empty house, no dogs, no people, a filthy, filthy carpet, and a brand new Vax Dual Power Pro upright carpet washer. So, as you can imagine, despite the fact I'm still a bit blocked up, still a bit poorly, I'm very, very excited to be giving this machine its virgin voyage on a very, very dirty carpet. This isn't my home, it's my mother's home. She has three dogs, plus she looks after half the neighbour's dogs most of the time. So, a lot of the time, this carpet in the living room has an awful lot of dogs walking about on it, dribbling on it, playing ball on it, doing all the sorts of things that dogs do. We love dogs, but they do bring in a lot of mess into our homes. So my mum has already said the carpet will be filthy, but the proof of the pudding is in the dirty water. So this is the dirty water tank on this fax machine. Obviously, we'll be looking at that very thoroughly when I've cleaned a small area. I will be cleaning the whole of this. This is the largest room in my mum's house. It's a, a through living room, so it's quite big. So I think I'll make short work of it with the Dual Power Pro because it has a nice wide cleaning path. Okay, before I get the demonstration going, I'll just take you briefly through the machine, what you get in the box, and then we'll plug this bad boy in and see how efficient it is at cleaning carpets. Here's everything you get in the box. If you want to see the unboxing video, check back on my channel and you'll see the full unboxing and assembly. There's not a lot of assembly to do with this machine. It was basically attaching the handle, turning a locking ring and putting the clean water tank in position. That was all I had to do. So this is the machine itself. It's quite a big, hefty machine. So if you're looking for a lightweight machine, if you live in a smaller house and you want something lightweight, don't go for this. It is a beast of a machine, but hopefully it will be a beast at cleaning my carpets. It's ideal for my mum's home, she has quite a few larger rooms, but uh, it's probably a little bit too heavy for her to carry upstairs, although using it it's not so bad because obviously the weight, you're not lifting the weight. It has dual brushes. Now unlike the regular dual power that has two brushes in line that are the same, this has two different cleaning systems, and I'll show you that in a minute, which is why I think this is going to do a very good job, because it's combining Fax's spin scrub action with the more traditional rotary brush action. So you're getting two cleaning actions in one. So as you're cleaning, it's doing both. So it should, in theory, clean every single part, every part of the carpet, all around the fibres and deep down. But until I switch it on and try it, I don't know. I'm just guessing. With this, you get two bottles of solution, only 250 ml of the Vax Ultra Plus. I always suggest using genuine Vax solution in the machines. You do get the better results. It's just a standard Ultra Plus. There are many other types you can buy, including a PET version, a revitalized version, which is supposed to bring the carpets back to life. So if you've got very matted down carpet pile, the revitalized solution is supposed to help with that. This is uh, an extra bottle of solution I suggested my mum bought with this machine. This isn't mine, my mum bought this when Vax had their recent damaged box sale, so she got a good discount off this machine and she asked me which one to get and I sort of suggested this. I've never had any experience of it, but it's the latest model and I'm, I'm thinking hopefully it will be the greatest, but we don't know. Don't know until we've tried it. This is a larger bottle, and I did suggest this was on offer as well. This is the Ultra Plus Sanitize, so as well as cleaning, it's supposed to sanitize the carpet, which is good for pets. You can get this or the pet version if you have dogs or cats roaming around your house. As well as the machine and the two bottles of Ultra Plus, you get this handy storage bag, which stores everything else that you get included. It's got a little hook on the top so you can hang it up on a hook in your cupboard where you keep the machine or in your wardrobe wherever you've got space. So inside this drawstring bag we have the hard floor squeegee 
So this machine can be used on carpets and hard floors, providing you put this squeegee on the front of the nozzle before you use it, and of course use a hard floor cleaning solution in the solution tank, not the carpet solution. So that's the first thing. The second thing is a powered spin scrub hand tool. So this has spin scrub brush that rotates when you're using it, which helps with more ingrained dirt, you know, cleaning your car mats for example, or your stairs. Possibly best not to use this on upholstery. Some hard wearing upholstery I expect you could use it on. But before you use any carpet washer on any fabric, you, all must, you must test the colour fastness first. If you've washed your carpets many times as I have, with a wet system then I'm not, I'm not having to check. I know this carpet has featured in quite a few YouTube videos and it's been washed countless, countless times. So that's the first tool. The second tool you get is just a little upholstery or stair brush with a static row of nylon brushes. Again it's clear so you can see all the muck being sucked up. And then thirdly and finally I could say fourthly, if you include the squeegee, you get this hose. Now I'm a bit disappointed with this hose because it is a stretch hose, but on the box it says, I think it says stretch hose 4.6 meters. Well, there's absolutely no way this is going to reach up the stairs. So I'm a little bit disappointed with Vax for that. Um, in the meantime, I may have contacted Vax before doing this video and, and see what they say. They may have supplied me with a longer hose, I'm not sure, but I'm a bit disappointed that this hose is not going to reach up the stairs. Now, that's before I've tried it, but judging by how it stretches, I don't think it's going to clean the whole flight of stairs, which is disappointing. But anyway, this is certainly okay for doing your upholstery and smaller areas. For example, because the machine is wide, you can't get into certain areas. If you can't move all the furniture out of the room, and most people can't, there'll be some bits of furniture that you can't move, and there'll be areas of carpet that are too narrow to get the main machine in. So that's where you can use your small tool to do round the edges first. If you're doing a deep clean, if you haven't shampooed for a long time, that's what I would do. Do all the edges, all the nooks and crannies first using the hose and then do your main area using the upright carpet washer. Here's the main cleaning head of the Dual Power Pro. Now it has some improvements over the previous Dual Power models. Certainly the first Dual Power model I tested was the lightweight version. Now that's very lightweight and quite good performance although I found it left the carpets fairly wet but it was good if you wanted something very lightweight. This of course is more substantial, it's a lot heavier. So I'm hoping that it will be more powerful suction wise. This is the clear nozzle, the dual V nozzle, that gives you full suction right across the width of the nozzle. Unlike the previous dual power, that you couldn't actually remove this nozzle without using a screwdriver, this nozzle comes off very easily, so you can run that under the tap, you can direct water into there, give it a good shake out. So especially if you have pets, you can get odd pet hairs that get trapped in there, but now you can give this a thorough clean, so that's a great improvement on the previous model. Another improvement over some other Vax carpet washers, my mum has an old Vax Oasis Complete, which is a little bit awkward to attach the hose to. With this one we just have this little hose port here and the hose just plugs directly into there at the front which makes it a lot easier when you're using the hose and the cleaning tools. I just pop the, the nozzle back, you just have to locate it underneath first and then it just clicks into place. So underneath is the business end of the machine. Now this is where hopefully we're going to get superior cleaning performance when I first looked at these brushes when I unboxed this machine, I was quite surprised at how stiff they were. I was expecting the sort, sort of stiffness you, I got with the previous models I've tested with the spin scrub. But the spin scrub brush on this, the brushes are stiffer and they're certainly stiffer on this. This is a very dense rotary brush here. So I'm thinking the combination is going to be very good. Obviously there's a little uncleaned area here where I believe there'll be a belt or some sort of driving mechanism for this brush.
but Vax have provided a static brush here to help counteract that. But of course you've got the spin scrub brushes behind which do give you more or less full width brushing. There's no gap in between so you're getting a full width more or less right across the cleaning path. And also two rows of static brushes either side to help brush up to the edge of the carpet. So all in all it looks like a very effective system. The Vax Dual Power Pro comes with twin tanks so the clean water can never ever mix with the dirty water. The top tank holds your warm water and carpet cleaning solution and the bottom tank is where all the dirty solution is collected. The top tank is easy to remove, there's a big orange button on the top here and you have two caps here, one where you put your warm water, maximum of 40 centigrade, you don't want it boiling, just about hot enough that you can keep your hand under the tap and keep it there, you don't want it hotter than that so you're pulling your hand away, so about 40 degrees is ample to get good results and you don't want to be damaging your machine by putting anything hotter. So this side is where you put the water, this side is where you put the cleaning solution. Now this has an auto mix system so it should mix the neat cleaning solution with the water as you're cleaning so you don't have to worry about how much water do I have to put in as how much solution etc. Now on the bottle if you're using any other sort of carpet washer that doesn't have an auto mix system it's 40 millilitres of solution to one litre of water. Now I did another video for another Vax carpet washer that has an auto mix system and I showed pouring neat solution in to the solution tank which I always thought was the correct thing to do and I still think it's correct but I had a viewer saying it's not correct you need to dilute the solution. Anyway I'm going to confirm with Vax the, the viewer said that he had contacted Vax and they said yes you do need to dilute it but then that defeats the object of having auto mix. So Vax if you're watching if I haven't contacted you before please comment underneath do I put neat solution into the solution part of the tank? I'm going to for this demonstration because as far as I know that's the thing to do. Because if you dilute it, now the thing is facts say you're not supposed to leave solution in the tank when you're finished and it says as a tip in the instructions pour out unused solution back into the bottle. Well I'm thinking is if you've diluted this solution and then you pour it back into the bottle that's got some more solution in, you're diluting the solution further. So the next time you use it, pour it in, dilute it again, it's going to be more, even more diluted. So to me, it doesn't make sense that you need to dilute it, but we'll see. I don't know, but as far as the instructions go, it just says pour the required amount. That's all it says. Pour the required amount of solution into the solution tank which means basically you can fill it up to the top if you're going to do a lot of cleaning or if you're just going to do a small room or just spill pick up you don't want to be filling all that all the way up to the top. I'm for this demonstration going to certainly fill the 250 millimeter bottle I'm going to put that all of that into the solution tank and warm water into the water tank. You also have a rinse cycle on this you do get better results if you go over your washed area with the rinse system. So in wash obviously it's mixing the solution with the water as you clean but when you turn it to rinse when you squeeze the shampoo trigger all that's coming out of the machine is clean water. So that's the clean water tank. Uh, it's, I think it's 4.5 litres so it's a good large capacity not sure about the capacity of the dirty water tank but it will be a similar it'll be maybe slightly smaller than the clean water tank but it'll certainly be over four litres. This is the dirty water tank there's a float valve that little white thing you can see that will rise up as the water level rises and it will cut the suction off if you keep on cleaning without emptying. To empty it another big orange catch just release that, you can take the whole top off, pour that down your sink or down your loo and it's good because it's more open. On the first dual power machine I tested it was all screwed together and you couldn't really get into that easily without undoing screws but this way you can really rinse that out. 
you can give that a bit of a, a rinse under the tap as well if that gets gunked up and it will do especially if your carpets haven't been cleaned for a long time so that's for your dirty water and that clips back neatly in there until you hear a click push it and then it's clicked in firmly there the first thing you do before you wash your carpet you must thoroughly vacuum it using preferably an upright vacuum cleaner that has an agitation now I've just happened to have this one here so this is the model I'm going to use I do know it's a very good deep cleaner so I'm going to go over the carpet slowly with this machine and it'll help bring the pile up but it'll remove any dirt before I start to wash the carpets I've also removed any smaller bits of furniture as you can see here where the chairs were under the dining table they've left little indentation marks now a carpet washer won't necessarily remove those marks it might make them less prominent but it won't matter in this case because of course the chairs will be going back there's some bits of surface litter on this carpet like I say it's a, a, a carpet that has a lot of dogs walking on it but I've picked up any of the smaller bits of furniture and moved them into another room because I know the carpet is safe for carpet washing I don't need to do a test but if you've never washed your carpet you do need to test an inconspicuous area first with the solution it's all in the instructions so if you get stuck refer to those so first thing to do I've moved the furniture I'm going to give this carpet a thorough vacuuming vacuumed my carpet and already it looks almost like I've washed it but I haven't it does look a great improvement on how it looked earlier but I did spend a lot of time before you're about to wash your carpets don't just quickly whiz over them with a the vacuum as if somebody's coming you know you've got an unexpected visitor and you just want to make things look presentable before you carpet wash you really need to do a thorough dry vacuum and when I vacuumed, I haven't recorded the whole thing. Some of you might have enjoyed it, but it would have been boring for many of you. But I went across the room. I went horizontally and vertically. So I went right from front to back, and then I went across that way. Overlap the strokes, went slowly. So now I know the carpet is as clean as I'm going to get it. Well, as clean as I'm going to get it before I use this Dual Power Pro. Because although I've removed... I'd say the majority of the surface litter, well all the surface litter and quite a lot of the deep down dirt, I haven't removed any odours that are in the carpet and any stains and I've, I have noticed, not sure if it will show up on camera, but my mum has a new dog, quite a young dog who's obviously had a few accidents. Now it's a bit hard to tell here with the sun but there is a wee wee stain there that my mum obviously didn't notice so hopefully that will be removed. And this, especially by here, the door, this is where we get a lot of ingrained dirt. But all in all, the carpet isn't clean. Looks quite presentable, especially now, but I can assure you it's filthy. Hopefully it will be filthy, and hopefully it'll be absolutely spotless, and all the dirty water will end up in that tank. So now I'm going to fill up the clean water tank with the warm water and solution. I'm at the kitchen sink now, ready to fill the clean water tank with warm water and solution. Now I'm going to first put the solution into the solution side, so I just need to remove the cap. 
And for this demo, I'm going to pour the whole bottle of the 250ml solution, Ultra Plus solution, into the solution tank. And I'm pouring it in neat until I know otherwise, that's what I'm going to do. If there is any change to this, I will advise you in the notes under the video, but the instructions do not tell you to dilute the solution, it just says pour the required amount of solution into the solution tank. So that's what I'm going to do. So, as I said, this is 250ml. Ah, oh, now that's not what I was expecting. You can see the solution tank, with other models I've had with Automix, the solution tank has been down here. But on this model, it's at the top. So that's something I've learned today. So there you can see that's the solution in the top of the tank. So now I need to fill the lower tank with the warm water. So because it's got a nice flat bottom to the tank, I can actually leave that to fill. If you've got uh, high water pressure, it won't take so long, but this hot water pressure in this house isn't too eager to come out of the tap, so it just saves having to hold it up, but only fill it up to the max line. Let me just turn this around and check where the max line is. Oh, it's there. I can fill it up a bit more. The max line is on the side here. I've gone around to the other side to check right now it's on the maximum line and I can now put the cap back on the top of the water tank. And now I need to take this to the machine and fit it on. So you just need to locate the tank at an angle first, like that, and then push it until it clicks into place. Also, before you start the wash procedure, just need to make sure that the dial is in the wash position and not the rinse position, until you want to rinse the carpet, that is. But initially, we need it in wash. This is the handle of the VaxJewel Power Pro, and this is the solution trigger that allows you to release the solution onto the carpet. Now what Vax say, when you're actually using this machine, you don't want to overwet the carpet. So what you need to do, apart from pressing the handle release button at the base of the cleaner, when you're using the machine, you squeeze the trigger when you're going in a forward direction, and when you're bringing the machine back, release the trigger so it is sucking up the dirty solution into the tank. So a wet pass is always forward, so forward, wet, backward, dry. So just remember that as you're going forward in a slow motion, squeeze the trigger and as you're going back, release the trigger. And you need to do that, you can do that a couple of times, but don't overwet the carpet. It's always best if your carpets are very heavily soiled, not to keep going over the same area, but I would just do it two or three times over wet then let it dry and then perhaps do it again another time if your carpets are really, really dirty. But hopefully with this machine, it should get most of the dirt up in the first session. So I'm gonna go over just a small area of the carpet just for the demonstration. I'm obviously gonna clean the whole room and show you the result afterwards. But for the demonstration, we're just gonna see, I'm just doing this area in front of me, I'm just gonna see how well this machine works. Now this cleaner is a bit noisy, so I won't be able to talk when I'm cleaning but I'm just going to go over the area that you can see in front of me. I'm going to do forward wet and a dry backward pass. I'm just going to do a few strokes and then we'll just give a, a brief look at the dirty water tank and just see what difference it's made. So first of all, I need to press the handle release button and then at the other side of the machine, there is the on off switch.
Right, so all I've cleaned is, well, it's probably maybe three square metres of carpet, maybe not even that. I went over a couple of times forward, squeezing the trigger with the solution. And then afterwards, I did a reverse stroke, of course, without the trigger being deployed. So it was drying the carpet. And then when I've done the whole area, I went over it once more forward, but in rinse mode to remove any excess solution. And then I made sure I went over the area thoroughly without the trigger released to dry the carpet. Now, it's a bit hard to pick up on camera, but maybe you can see this is the side that's been cleaned with the Vax Dual Power Pro, and this is the side I haven't touched yet. I'm just trying to make it so you can see, but I think even on this fairly pale looking carpet, you can see a difference. I can see a difference in the viewfinder. I'm hoping the camera's picking up the difference because it's superb. Now, until I'd used this machine, the best carpet washer I've used was the Vax Dual V Advance. I've done a full demo, it's actually in this very room. And I was very impressed with that. But this one has blown that machine out of the water. This one is far better. Now, minus side, it is a little bit noisier. But on the plus side, it is easier to push. It's a big, heavy machine, but pushing it is, seems easier than using the uh, Dual V Advance. But the performance of this machine surpasses the Dual V Advance, definitely. I'm absolutely astounded by that. Now, it is probably about two. I'm looking at it now. It's about two square meters of carpet. And obviously, when that's dry, I'll give it another vacuum, and it'll be fantastic. Now, this is feel the dryness. I could possibly go over that again. It's not, not as dry as I'd like. But saying that, if you look at the amount of dirty water that it's picked up, I've still got a little bit of clean water left. So it has removed a substantial amount of the water. And if I was to take a little bit more time, I could probably get a bit more water out. And I would do that. If I wasn't filming, I would do that. But look at that. And this is from about two square meters of carpet. And I haven't even done the dirtiest area. The dirtiest area in my mum's living room is near the kitchen door and the sunroof door. Look, I'm surprised, you know, at home I shampoo my carpets a lot, so I don't get these sort of dramatic results, but my mum can't use a carpet washer often, you know, it's a bit awkward for her. So I often come and do her carpets. But look at that! Now, it's obviously a bit foamy, a bit hard to see. But that, that is disgusting, isn't it? But that's what you get if you have dogs in your life. You have to put up with dirty carpets or dirty floors. But fortunately, we do have a lot of technology now at our fingertips in order to deal with it. I'm really, really impressed with that result. Really impressed. So it's already a thumbs up. Six year guarantee for this machine. Register it with Vax when you buy it. It's easy to push, just a little bit noisy. But all in all, I'm so impressed with that. Okay, well I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day shampooing all the rest of this carpet. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, before I do this, I'm going to show you the cleaning tools and see how far that hose reaches up the stairs. Well, before I have a look at the cleaning tools, let's have the money shot, shall we? Let's haul away this absolutely filthy, filthy water that until just a few minutes ago was on the carpet. There's still quite a bit of capacity left in this tank. The float valve is still quite a way to go. But let's have a look at it. Take off the lid. Now the foam's died down. We can see. Look at that. Disgusting. And because I did a thorough deep clean uh, with a vacuum before I washed the carpet, there isn't much grit. If your vacuum cleaner isn't very effective, especially if you just have a suction only vacuum, as well as all the dirt, you might find in the bottom a load of grit. 
which will be removed with this machine. So you can just give it a rinse out. Obviously I'm going to use it again, so before storing it away, you do need to, I, I would rinse it out and dry it. Leave it to dry before assembling it back. There's a little mesh screen here that traps any larger particles. You can give that a rinse over, like that. And then just stand that somewhere out of direct sunlight, out of um, a direct heat source, just somewhere dry. Let it dry, assemble it, and then you can put it back in your cupboard and use it for the next time. But my work isn't done here yet. I'm going to go and set the cleaning hose to the machine, attach it to the machine, and we'll see how effective it is at cleaning stairs and upholstery. All right, so I'm just going to look at the cleaning tools you get supplied with the Dual Power Pro. So as I showed you earlier, you get the stretch hose, the spin scrub powered tool, and the smaller static brush wash tool. And to fit the tools, fairly simple, you have this little hose connection port here. You just pull down there, and you need to locate this. Now it's got this little area here is where the shampoo comes out of. Obviously this is for the suction, and it corresponds with a larger hole for obviously the suction pipe, and the smaller hole here is where you put the solution pipe into. So it'll only go in one way. You try to put it in the other way, obviously it's not going to play ball, it won't go in. So actually you put it in with a text uppermost, and it says on it, turn to wash mode on top tank to begin cleaning. And I believe I read that the rinse mode also works through the hose. So you can apply the solution and clean the item of furniture, and then you could also select rinse and rinse the area you've cleaned. That was a feature that you couldn't do on some carpet washers. You couldn't use rinse mode through the hose. But with this one you can. So that pushes in. It's a bit stiff. It's new, so it will be. But there we go. That's in firmly. I'm just going to test the wash tool on a footstool. It's never been washed. And it's a dark brown colour, so we might not see any dramatic results. And the t water in the tank might not be filthy but I will know that it's freshened up, it'll have removed any smells, it'll just freshen up the surface, but we're not going to get the sort of dramatic results we got on the carpet. Now this is a, a lovely footstool that my mum bought because she thought it would be nice to put her feet up of an evening while watching some rubbish on the TV or playing with her iPad. But of course, if you have dogs in the home, when you bring a new piece of furniture in there, they don't think it's for the humans, they think, ah, a new dog bed, a new raised dog bed, that's great! It's higher up than my dog bed, I can sit on that, and I can see out of the window now and bark at everyone who goes by. If you've got pets you'll know what I'm talking about, cats or dogs, they do tend to claim things as their own, and of course we wouldn't have it any other way because we love our pets. But what we don't love about our pets is the smells and the dirt and the... And the I was going to say a, a naughty word, but I won't, but the, the general detritus that they bring in on their feet, and in the case of cats, sometimes dead birds and all sorts. And you want to remove that from your lovely furniture. So that's what I'm going to do now. So it's a stretchy hose. So it's, it's more than long enough, certainly, to do your upholstered furniture. So, similar to the upright carpet washer, you have a trigger. Whoops, a little bit of solution came out there. So, pulling the trigger releases the solution in a spray behind the nozzle. So you can use it much the same as you do with the upright. You can go over forward, squeezing the trigger, and when you go back, release the trigger, and you'll see all the dirty water being sucked up the front of the nozzle. So I've got it selected on wash mode on the tank, so I just need to turn the machine on.
Dark coloured fabrics are very forgiving, aren't they? That's why many of us with pets or children go for the dark colour because, well, they don't show the dirt, do they? But obviously it's nice to have a home with light fabrics and furnishings because it makes the home seem larger. But of course it's not practical in a busy family. So anyway, we have this dark brown footstool. Didn't look dirty, did it? But it's been cleaned. I turned the camera off to finish the job. I've done the whole area. I also went over once more, but using rinse function. So it's rinsed it. And then I made sure I went over it several times to get as much of the dirty solution out. And I thought we're not gonna see such dramatic results as we did on the carpet. How wrong could I have been? <laughs> Now then, it's probably not quite as dramatic, but considering this footstool or dog bed isn't on the floor, but it does get a lot of dogs jumping up on it who have been outside. Now again, it's uh, a little bit hard to see because of the foam, but that is dirty, dirty water. All of this is just from that footstool. Whoops a daisy. I don't know if you can quite see where, there. It isn't quite, I have to admit, it's not quite as dark brown as I got from the carpet, but considering this is a footstool, that is outstanding. Obviously it's gonna take a while for it to dry thoroughly but I can just put that in another room to keep the dogs off it until it has dried. Or on a nice day, of course, we can pop it out outside. Any furniture that you can take outside, give it a good airing after it's been washed. That is fantastic. I'm at the bottom of the stairs now and I've attached the powered spin scrub brush in order to do the stairs with. Now, as I said earlier, this is not a stair cleaning hose, despite what the box said, I think the box says 4.6 meter hose. Well, it's not gonna stretch halfway up the stairs, but anyway, the proof of the pudding is in the demonstrating. So I will go up the stairs as far as I can with this nozzle and just see how far I can reach. The standard flight of stairs in a typical British home is 13 steps. So let's go up this. This is not quite standard. This is actually 12 steps. If you include the landing at the top, then it would be 13. And in this house, the steps are quite steep, are certainly steeper than these steps in my home. So I don't know if that makes any difference, but anyway, there are 12 full steps and counting the landing, there are 13. So let's see how far we can reach up with this fax. So obviously one stair, two stair, three stair, four stair, absolutely no trouble. Let's see if we can do five stairs, yes. Five stairs again, easy peasy. Six stairs, no problem there. Seven, starting to pull a bit now on the hose. Now eight is, it's doable, but again the hose is stretching. But by the time we get to nine steps, it won't. It will, at a push, do nine, but comfortably I can get up eight stairs with this machine. So it is not going to reach right up the stairs. So that's a big negative for me with this model. I think they do a total home version, which does have a longer hose, possibly the 4.6 meter hose that this claimed to have on the box. I don't think it claims this in the, um, on the website, but it did on the box. So when I got the hose out, I knew it wasn't going to reach right to the top. Now, in order to clean the rest of the stairs, it does mean bouncing or putting the machine anyway at the top of the stairs, which is a little bit dodgy. If you have to do that and you've got someone to help you, get the person to hold the machine at the top of the stairs while you're actually using the nozzle. I mean, I don't know, I'm fairly strong. My mum certainly couldn't do this. Obviously, it's got the solution in it. But at a push, I could hold the handle here while using the nozzle, but it's not ideal. So unfortunately, that's a negative point for this machine. It will not reach right up my stairs. Although this cleaner won't reach right to the top of my stairs, I might as well do a little bit of a demonstration on this step. 
using the spin scrub hand tool. We'll just clean this once there. Again, I'm not expecting terribly dirty water, although I wasn't expecting dirty water with a footstool. But I really am not. The dogs don't really go up the stairs and my mum doesn't wear shoes upstairs either, so I'm not expecting a dramatic result. This nozzle has the advantage of a spinning brush as well as, of course, the power jet of solution. The nozzle I showed you on the footstool just had the static brush. So if we turn on, make sure I'm back on the wash position, so it's introducing water and solution to the spray. And I'll just go over this area here. Although it doesn't look it, it doesn't look it on the camera, it does actually spin quite fast. Now there's a disadvantage of this nozzle, it is quite bulky and the spray jet is very very wide, it comes out much further than the width of the nozzle and also I found it wasn't getting, because of the brushes at the front, it wasn't spraying in this area so you need to sort of direct it in other directions in order to get every part clean. So it's not ideal. The smaller nozzle would be better at getting right into the corners than this one, but this is okay. For example, if you have a stain, and as if by magic, I have spotted a stain, so we'll see if it'll deal with the stain that's on the carpet. Now, this stain here has been here for a few weeks, I'm sure, and without going into graphic detail, it was caused by Evie, my mum's new pup. So obviously you don't need me to tell you what that could be. Now, so it is dog wee wee, so I have told you. <laughs> it's dog wee wee, but it's been left to dry in. Now that can be terribly difficult to remove. And of course, if I was to put my nose down there, there would still probably be quite a pungent smell. But obviously my mum can't get to everything. You know, she's, uh, she's obviously a pensioner now. And every little stain can't be dealt with straight away. But hopefully, now we've got this, we'll be able to get rid of that. Here goes. It's dealt with it. It's not. I haven't moved the camera. You've seen this in real time. Obviously, I edit my videos, but I don't edit them to falsify any results. That little stain that was there 
is now history. Well, that just about concludes my demonstration of the Vax Dual Power Pro. Would I recommend it? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Well, it's definitely a thumbs up with two little niggles. One, it is very noisy, but the next time I use this, in fact, when I've finished this video, I've only cleaned the areas that I've shown you. I need to clean the whole of this living room, so I will be doing that, but I'll be putting some ear defenders on just, just for the benefit of my hearing. So, yes, it is a little bit noisy. The other bugbear, despite the fact it says on the box, 4.6 meter stretch hose, there is absolutely no way on earth that that stretches to 4.6 meters. So I will be contacting Vax over that little discrepancy. And with any luck, if I flutter my eyelashes at them on their Facebook page, they might send me a 4.6 meter stair hose. Obviously this is not my machine. This is a machine my mum bought. I recommended it to her before I knew anything about it. It looked good on paper, but I'm pleased to say it's good in practice as well. It doesn't just look good, it performs very well. It does move over the carpet easily. It's easy to push despite its bulk and weight. Not so easy to carry, but easy to use when you're carpet cleaning. Quite easy to use with the hose, easy to attach the hose, easy to empty. All in all, it's really one of Vax's top of the range upright carpet washers. So if you've got a lot of carpet to clean, you've got wide expanses of carpet, you don't mind the bulk, you don't mind the weight, you've got pets and kids in your home, so yes, get it. If you live in a small home, you can't manage a heavy machine, look at a lighter option. But all in all, it really is impressive. I'm really pleased with this Dual Power Pro. I'm just sad it's not mine. But anyway, I'll be back here, I expect in a few months when my mum goes on holiday, so I'll be giving this another airing. So if you'd like to see any particular demonstration relating to this particular machine, I'll try and do it then. But don't ask me anything that it's not recommended to do, so don't say something silly like, I don't know, go and, go and wash your lawn with it or something. I will only do anything for you that's recommended by the manufacturer. I won't go beyond what they say to do. So if you want to see me washing hard floors, and I'll try and do a hard floor washing video, because obviously this will wash hard floors, I might clean some more areas with the hose as well, and clean another carpet. But by the time I come round here again, I bet this carpet will be filthy dirty. So until then, please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. So until then, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you soon.